What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. I know like literally five or six hours ago I uploaded a video talking about some new WWE Elite figure news and we talked about the new Finn Balor and Rey Mysterio coming out but Ringside just posted some images of some brand new action figures and as the time I'm recording it is just two of them but in the middle of the video you know they could be posting them so if they do I will totally upload them but as of now guys we have updated photos of the brand new Elite Series 69 Ricochet as you see on your screen guys. This figure looks absolutely fan freaking tastic I am super happy with this I love the attire they went with I'm not sure if he is the chase variant I feel like Mustafa Ali is the chase variant I could be wrong about that but I really love the black and gold and white attire I think the head scan looks great I love the entrance gear we're getting the tattoos look phenomenal I mean this is pretty much a perfect figure this I think this is a brand new torso mold we have never seen this before it's kind of like a cross between the Sin Cara torso and the Fandango torso. It's kind of like they merged those two together. But I love the skin tone. I love all of the tattoos. The tattoos look great. I love the colors popping off. The head scan, again, looks fantastic. It's perfect in my opinion. I think even the head shape is fine. I think that everything about this figure is damn near perfect. And I think we're this is an early figure of the year contender for sure. I think that this Ricochet figure just looks fantastic, man. I mean, look at that entrance shirt. Look at everything. I think the only thing that I have a problem with is maybe the, the lower legs are supposed to be the different mold. The other mold is supposed to be, you know, it's, it's like the shorter calf, and then you're supposed to have the longer boots. And then, you know, uh, that that's the way they're supposed to be. It's supposed to be like the Lex Luger style boots. But that's not a big uh, a big deal to me um, in, in any way. I, I think that that's only the only problem that I can even sort of find with this figure is that the, the lower legs and the boots are not the most accurate. However... I think everything else is perfect. I love the chest tattoos. I think, again, the head skin's perfect. And I love that we're getting the entrance gear with the wings on it. I think that's great. And I actually had an idea for uh, for a custom with that with that entrance gear. So I'm glad we're getting that with the Ricochet. And the interchangeable hands look good. I I'm just super excited for that. But that is the Elite Series 69 Ricochet, guys. I hope you guys are as excited for it as I am. But then the other figure we have are new images of the brand new Elite Series 69 Mustafa Ali. And we already knew what this looked like. You know, they showed this at Access, I think it was, and then they showed it with uh, at another con. It was like the prototype. So this looks great. I love it in the red, gray, and black. You know, he just recently wore this at WrestleMania 35, so I think it's pretty cool that we're getting it this fast. I don't know if he wore it before then, but... Um, they didn't go with the ripped up torso. I think it would have been appropriate had they given him, you know, the Seth Rollins torso. But I like this torso. I'm not complaining about it. I think that this can work for a guy like Mustafa Ali, con considering he was a cruiserweight. But, I mean, if you say, well, he was a cruiserweight, well, think about, you know, Ricochet. Ricochet is, you know, smaller guy, but he has the ripped up torso. I know he's more ripped up than Mustafa Ali. I'm just stating facts. I think that Mustafa Ali looks great. Ricochet looks great. And I'm not complaining about either of these figures. I think they look perfect. And they're both contenders for figure of the year. I love the entrance gear with Mustafa Ali. The face mask looks incredible. I love the jacket. I love the interchangeable hands, guys. That uh, jacket right there, I think if you took that jacket or the entrance vest from Mustafa Ali, you could put it on a Johnny Gargano, you know, fill in that circle on his chest. You could make it, you know, the, the Johnny Gargano entrance vest. You could do a Seth Rollins fantasy attire or something with that. And it comes with the, you know, the Iron Man style hands. Um, as well as the face mask with Mustafa Ali. Also, it's a great head scan. I mean, they have totally knocked it out of the park, guys. I think WWE Elite Series 69 is going to be absolutely fantastic. Like, not only do we get these two, I believe we get Bobby Lashley, we get Tommaso Ciampa, we get Rey Mysterio. What an epic set, and we are starting it off fire with the, with the Ricochet figure announced and the Mustafa Ali. But I think that is all the images I have to show you guys, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. I know this morning I uploaded, you know, uh, figures that are going to be seen at Comic-Con. Well, we're definitely going to be seeing these at Comic-Con, and I'm sure we're going to see, you know, other things that are going to be epic, and I can't wait to see what else we get. But that's exactly what I wanted to show you guys, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. Please sound off in the comment section below, guys. What do you think about both of these figures? I would love to know what your thoughts are down below on uh, on Ricochet's head scan, on the attire. Do you wish it was the white attire? I, for one, would have liked his NXT white attire. I think that's my favorite attire he's worn just because it's one of my favorite colors. You guys know how I feel about the color white. Always making fantasy white attires and stuff of that nature. But I like both of them. The red looks good and the black and gold for Ricochet looks good, so I'm not complaining. But that pretty much does it for the figure news, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy enjoy. Um, again, comment down below what you think of these figures, and if they upload any more, I will for sure be uploading them, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.